Hey guys, welcome back. So I was asked to do a series of videos uh, introducing InDesign. So what I'm gonna do the videos on is how to create a magazine in InDesign. Now my goal, my challenge is to keep each video under five minutes. We will see how this goes. I'm gonna try, I have a timer um, that uh, I'll hopefully will set to go off. All right, so here we are. We're in InDesign. Um, what you're seeing, your your program or your um, interface will look, may look different than mine. Mine has different projects that some of my former students um, have done. So that's what they're seeing and all of these are um, what they've done in their magazine projects. All right, so this is the InDesign um, interface. Uh, you might get a welcome screen at first if it's your first time opening it. Um, and that welcome screen is great. Um, it, you can get to everything that you can get into the welcome screen from here. It just has like shortcuts of, you know, how to get tutorials and stuff like that faster. But this is uh, your main screen. So um, what you're going to see when you get here, again, you're going to see projects that you worked on. You're going to see a few of the basic sizes. You're going to see like your profile in the upper right corner, a search um, bar where you can search for help um, online if you had a particular question. Um, that you want to ask about, you know, something like that. Um, and you'll have filters you'll have over here where you can look at list view or thumbnail view. Right now we're in thumbnail view, but if I were to switch to list view, that's what it would look like. Um, over here you have like little tutorials that um, you can see, and these tutorials are amazing. Definitely look at those um, if you can, especially if you're new in design. Um, over here you're going to have like your home, your learn, uh, you create new, which allows you to create a new project. Your open is going to allow you to open a project. Or if you really just want to know what's new, you can click on the what's new button um, and find out what's happening in, in design world. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we could just click on one of these presets and it'll do the same as uh, create new. It'll just set it for you. But we're going to go through um, create new. So let's go ahead and click on that. Um, what's going to happen is I forgot I had two screens activated. So let me go ahead and bring this over here. All right. So when you hit create new, this is going to pop up instantly um, for you. And so it um, um, this is your new document dialog box. And it's going to have some presets in here too. Recent um, for all of the recent files that you worked on. Um, down at the bottom, always it's going to have like a, a set of templates for you to use as well um, that are. Um, uh, thanks to Adobe Stock. If you go to save, this is going to show you like the saved files that you saved. If you go to print, um, this is your intent. That means you're planning to create something that you plan to print out. So it's going to be in the CMYK. Um, and if you go to web, then this is something that you expect to put on the, a website or something like that. And that's going to export out to RGB. Um, and the same with mobile, it's going to have uh, mobile sizes for you that you can choose. Um, so if I click on it, you'll see that it goes to mobile sizes um, or the one of, ones of the most popular. They have more presets if you click the VR presets. And then you'll see like your details and your settings over here. Always scroll down so you can see all of your settings. Um, and that's your mobile view. Uh, we plan to do print, so I'm going to select print. And up here is just really your intent. What do you intend to do? What do you want to do inside of InDesign? All right. So once we have a print set, um, if you have your settings set like you want them, I'm just going to go with the default. But if you need changes, if you know you're told, oh, I want the margin to be, you know, a certain margin and stuff like that, then you can go ahead and make those changes here. If you know that you want to bleed then you can make the bleed and stuff here. And the bleed just means the areas outside of the edge where color is going to um, kind of overflow. It hides it so that you don't have to see white. So I'm gonna hit create. And once we hit create, I got the spinning wheel, but it's gonna open a document. And now you see that we are actually inside the document and we are ready to go ahead and set up our document. So in the next video, we'll go over um, a little bit more of the workspace um, before we get started in the toolbar. But for now, this is this video, the first video of our series. Um, and that pretty much is the gist of that one. So I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta for now.